Hey everybody, good day to you. I uh, just got done making the white crack. I hope you check that video out because that stuff is awesome. Um, going to make some uh, fried rice. Um, a couple things. Um, you know, when I first started making it, you know, it never came out. It always tasted kind of white, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Uh, and I found out, you know, it's a lot of the ingredients you're putting in it, to it. So what I really suggest is uh, going out and getting a couple of items, um, but it's a little bit of technique as well. Um, I've got all these crazy sauces over here, okay? I've got some hoisin sauce. I've got, now this stuff, this. Okay, this stuff is badass. This stuff is called XO sauce, and it's kind of sweet, kind of fishy, kind of, hot and spicy um it's really good though all and you can find this at ranch market um but you have to ask for it because it's behind a counter like it's it's really expensive but a little goes a long way in that stuff um i've also got uh all kinds of plum sauce and oyster sauce and dumpling sauce and i actually use most of them but what i want you to know is you don't need any of that stuff all you need is some ponzu or some teriyaki and some soy sauce and that's all you need and you'd be fine with just that um, if you, uh, if you want to go crazy and do all this other stuff you totally can but you don't need to um, I, I just want to let everybody know uh, you know I'm gonna be adding all this stuff but you don't have to add all that crap in um, I'm gonna do a pork fried rice today so I've got about um, two pounds of pork, something like that. And I'm going to just put it in here. Super, super hot pan. Um, this really requires a hot pan. Don't mess around with it. get that going and then over here I've got some and actually I'm going to start this early uh, so what I've got over here is some onion bell pepper and some mushrooms you can add whatever you want um, I would do at least the onion if nothing else uh, a lot of people do carrots and peas and that kind of thing but I don't really like carrots or peas so I don't put them in um, so, you know, um, so whatever on that. Now, I like to put all the ingredients in at one time because I like the onions nice and done. And I like the peppers to kind of break down a little bit. I don't want them crispy, you know, like, I don't want that fresh snap that, you know, of course you would like in a lot of dishes. But in this, you know, not so much. Um, one thing about keeping a hot plate, you've got to keep stirring it. It's super important that you do. And the most important thing you can do on, um, on cooking this kind of stuff is you don't want to add too much. Oh, you're going to put some garlic in there. Um, you don't want to put too much, uh, liquid in there um if you put too much liquid in there i'll explain it a little bit later but you're not going to be able to get the glaze on it that you're looking for if it's too uh if it's too watery and of course you're going to get some water from the vegetables and the meat cooking down anyways so uh so be a little careful so what i would suggest doing is going with the thicker stuff first this is hoisin sauce. Now you might be wondering, hey, where's the rice? Rice is in here. I cooked that uh, about an hour ago. Here's the thing. If you're really smart, you'll use day old rice that's been in the refrigerator. It just works so much better. Um, uh, it, 
It tends to not get as mushy. Uh, when you use fresh rice, it really does tend to get a little mushy. Um, and it's unfortunate because uh, it really is much fresher that way. Um, but you have to be really careful of, uh, of over-saturating it. Where when it's been in the refrigerator, it kind of dries it out a little bit. And so it doesn't break apart it's as easy as fresh rice does. Okay, now this is really good stuff. Oh, and you're also going to need, uh, for two pounds, maybe, uh, maybe a, an egg, maybe two. Um, I'll get those. About those guys I don't I don't really care either way if the eggs are in there but uh, daughter really loves the egg in there so I want to make sure that I get it in there all right so that's coming along pretty nice um, it's not quite as dark as I would like Now, you can always do this as long as it's quick. <laughs> um, just don't stick your finger in there for two. And don't worry about your germs because, you know, come on. This thing's like 400 degrees. Um, I see. Oh, now oyster sauce is another one. Uh, you know, that would be my first suggestion, you know, uh, going off the beaten path, so to speak. Well, actually, the hoisin would probably be better. Um, so I would get uh, soy sauce, um, teriyaki sauce, or, or ponzu, either one, um, and then go with either an oyster sauce or the hoisin sauce. This is a little bit of ginger. And there we go. Now. So see how this, because now everything's starting to break down, see how it's getting very saucy. See all that sauce in there? Now, most of the sauces that I was putting in there are actually pretty thick. So I have to wait until all this boils down, until this stuff starts sticking to the meat and the vegetables. Uh, and it starts sticking kind of to the pan. Um, so you need, that's why I say it's easier to cook it on high because you're gonna have to do this anyways. When you stick the rice in, then you can turn it down. Um, but I always wait and uh, boil all this off and it gives it like this sticky glaze that's freaking awesome. Um, and that's when I kind of learned that, oh, this is the thing that makes it taste authentic. Um, it's getting the flavors to stick to the food really is, is kind of the key. So I am going to come back in a couple minutes when this is boiled down because there's no sense in you guys uh, hanging out with me. I will be right back. Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, so it's been about five minutes since we last spoke. Um, and now it's starting to, let me show you. Okay. So see how it's really thickened up. You see that? See how that's really thickened up now? Now, if you go beyond this point, you'll, it'll really start sticking to the food and you'll start seeing it and smelling it. All of a sudden it's gonna change like the, the total, I don't know, it's like the flavor gets, concentrated or whatever and it's just going to totally change uh the, the smell of it there we go okay so now that we're about there now i usually go a little bit farther uh with it than that but i'm going to try something new this time and see how it turns out so now you can add your rice and this is a basmati rice. 
uh, but you can have, you know you can use any race you want. Um, now at this point, we'll turn it down a little bit. Um, but you can use any kind of rice. Uh, I might stay away from the the Calrose rice. The Botan is the brand. Um, that might end up a little too uh, again a little too mushy. But certainly, uh, just your long grain white white rice works awesome. And what's kind of nice about this is it's I'm having to kind of that's not in the way, is it now? It's okay. Um, I'm kind of having to beat it up just slightly. Um, so what you kind of want to do is kind of press down on it and kind of shake it. Um, you don't want to be real rough with it because you don't want uh, you don't want a whole bunch of broken, you know, mushy nublets in there. You actually want rice. There goes my video monitor. <laughs> all right, so got all this rocking in here. There we go. And you just want to keep working that in there. And if you have extra rice left over, you know, never throw it away. You can always use it. Um, I use it for dog food all the time. Uh, well, not I try not to do it with white rice, but certainly with brown rice. Uh, and don't do stir fry with brown rice. It's just, it's just not worth it. I mean, I guess some people can. It's, it just doesn't taste right to me. Uh, it doesn't have the right texture. Uh, I think, but you know, uh, if you're super health conscious and absolutely will not, um, you know, eat wild rice or white rice rather, then by all means, uh, I guess use it. You know, it's your it's your kitchen, not mine, which is super important. All right. But we found that if you take uh, rice and cook it in your steamer, and you can go down and get chicken thighs, they're like under a buck a pound. And you just cook those up, cook the rice up, and we just give our dog a multivitamin. And that's what we do instead of spending, you know, because pet food right now is, if you want like the good stuff, quote unquote, it's incredibly expensive so we're like screw that you know we'll just cook her like literally human food and put uh put some uh vitamins in there for her so she gets all the nutrients she needs all right that's about right all right okay so now Kind of got it, the consistency we want it. That's about good. So now what we want to do though is we want to add a little bit more of the spices, whatever you're going to add. And the hoisin sauce is super good. I highly recommend that stuff. Now I haven't put any of this dumpling sauce in here, but I know this stuff's the bomb, but it is a little bit watery so just want a little bit of that and then a little more of this stuff Go. so it's funny the story about this XO sauce so I used to work for a Chinese company uh, that sold freight. And we were out with the big boss 
and it's really cool. The guy's like a rock star, right? You know, we go into this really super fancy Chinese seafood restaurant, and I'm the only white guy in there, you know, and and everybody's, uh, uh, you know, fine dining, and they have like, you know, you, you pick your own fish, you know, you're like, I want that one, and they cook him up right there for you, bring him in a little bucket, and they're like, yeah, yeah. They're like, yeah, cook him up. Um, so he's like, hey, you gotta try this stuff, this XO sauce. It's, it's really good, it's a delicacy, it takes like, you know, all this time to make, and it's got, you know, a million ingredients, and it's, it's really great, this stuff, you gotta try it. And I'm like, yeah, that'd be great. And I try it, and I love it, and it's really great. And uh, I ask him, hey, can I get some of that to go? And this guy is like a rock star in this place, right? He's like, I don't know. I, I really don't know if they'll give me any to go. It's not kind of that kind of thing. Um, so, of course, you know, he fiddles with it. And, you know, they, they uh, give it to him and everything, you know, so I get it. And uh, ever since then, I've gone to uh, Chinese restaurants, especially ones because this is from Hong Kong. Uh, so I'll ask them if they're from Hong Kong. And I'll say, hey, do you have any XO sauce? And... Nine times out of ten, I get the look like, how does the white boy know about the, how does the white boy know about the XO sauce, you know? And then they always say kind of the same thing, uh, yeah, we have some in the back, but uh, not for you, <laughs> you know? So I'm like, oh man, come on, just throw me, just throw me a little bit. Now, what I'm waiting to do here is kind of going, well, what's he doing now? Because it's the right consistency. It's definitely, see that? Woohoo, looking good. But, um, I like it when the, when it's actually fried on the bottom. Like, I actually like that where it's like, like this. Here, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. See that right there? See that right there? I love it when it's like that. So I try to get as much of that in there, kind of, as I can. And it also really uh, condenses the flavor and like these, you know, amazing uh, packets uh, when you get that on the rice. So I tend to wait a little bit. Plus, I like my rice um, a little more, a little more fluffy, you know, like a little more, um, I don't want it like mushy and wet. Um, Don't you hate that when you miss the bag and it goes in between? All right, here we go. So this, what I like to do with the egg is kind of spread it around on the top. And then you just fold it. And I think that works really the best. Um, you just fold it into it. And that way the egg doesn't come off in huge chunks. Because I know, especially if you're making this for kids, and my kids love this meal. They really do. And it's really easy, you know. Um, uh, if you have a rice maker. If you don't have a rice maker, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass for sure. Um, yeah, I think that's good, actually. With the egg, we can do much more than that. We'll let that cook down just a little bit. Put this egg away. There we go. Fried rice. Really super easy. And I swear it'll taste better than 90% of the Asian food places you go. I guarantee it. Just learn how to be patient and let it cook down and let it get that glaze on it. And you are golden, my friends. You guys have a wonderful night. Uh, be good humans. Bye-bye.